Hello everyone, Sunset Duck 2, welcome to another install tutorial, this time on Jump Loader, except for Curse Forge instead of Twitch. So, if you've noticed, uh, the Twitch launcher no longer has the Curse Forge mod pack, profile creation, and publishing, and all that sort of stuff, uh, that's been moved over. So, uh, you can just go to this link here, or if you know exactly how to get to the Curse Forge launcher, which is just something like this. I guess, um, and then you go to, where is it, um, I guess something like that, you'll be able to find it and download it pretty easy, so yeah. Um, so once you have that and set things up, uh, if you still have Twitch active, or at least for me anyways, I had it where I had the launcher before I had the uh, removal of stuff in Twitch. Uh, my mod packs pretty much carried over easily, automatically. Um, if not, I, if you're only just doing it now, I don't th know if it'll carry across. Um, my guess is if you haven't removed all your stuff in your Twitch folder where it sets stuff up, um, then obviously you should be fine. Uh, for me, that was, I'm just going to go into here, and then here, and this, and this, and then Twitch, and you can see I've got all my instances here. So it's just borrowing from here because it's not got a curse forward folder or anything, it hasn't done much there. So that'll be, it'll probably be fine if it can pull from there. But uh, yeah. Uh, since we're focusing on jump loader, not just the fact that curse forge is the launch we're covering here, um, pretty much the installation process is exactly the same as the one that was in Twitch before it was removed. Um, so yeah, if you're familiar with that, it'll carry over the same way. So, I've already got an existing one here, but um, I'm just going to create a new one for the sake of it, as we can create custom profiles now. Um, let's see, 116.4. We'll want a forge version, specific micro version, excuse me, and that. Excuse me. Uh, so, that's done its thing. Cool. So, let's get our necessary mods, which would be things like Fabric API. So we'll do that, and we'll get jump loader as well, as that's very important. And we'll get another mod, like Blockus, to make it clear that we've got stuff in game loaded correctly. And we'll get roughly enough items and stuff also good one to test. Cool, so we'll just go backwards a bit, some like that, we don't want to create a new profile. Um, so there's that, and then we'll, I guess, get something like GEI and, uh, and chests just to show in that uh, that forge mods are completely ignored when you have jump loader. So yeah, I don't know why that got a one sort of thing there, I don't know what's going on there. Either way, um, so yeah, we'll just go play, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, yeah, so we'll come across now the launcher which it gave like a message of certain things. Um, it shows that this uh, instance here or this version of Forge is like nah, it's gonna work it's just because the launch is like using a modified version. Just letting you know that. Okay cool thanks. Um, so yeah we'll just have to wait for that to do its thing. Is it gonna tell me the whole hit the tick box thing again? Or is that only just like a first time thing? Yes, no. Uh, seems not. Alright then. Weird. I mean, I came across this in the last attempt at recording, that's why I know this. Otherwise, I would have been like, oh, okay, what? What's going on? Apparently, it's not telling me that. Alright, you do. You. So, yeah, we'll um, obviously have all the mods we want set up, and then we've got a GEI and IHS that will be ignored. As, uh, this is in the forge environment, it's now a fabric environment. Get rid of all these, just fill all my necessary settings, and then we'll go into a world. So, and this, and this, and we'll be good. I mean, I'll leave particles, I don't care. You can see we have a fabric modded version now, not a forge one, even though we're using Forge in here, which is important, as well as jump loader in here, which is also very important. And then uh, I don't have mod menu installed, 
But Sam, if I did, you'd be able to see what's going on there. Just go into a new world and just see exactly what happens. Now, I may or may not show snapshots in another video, as I have sort of tested in a prior attempt, where I was almost going to do both of them in the same video, but it's like, you know, separate it. Um, and it seems like it'll be a sort of vanilla Twitch situation for those familiar of when I do that, which is the, you have to go a bit of an extra length than what Jumploader does, and is more inferior than Jumploader. Um, but yeah. So, we've got Blockus stuff in here. Blech. Can you, thanks. Go give. Uh, and then we have some Blockus blocks, as you can see here. So we've got that, so it's Stone Cutter or so, for example. We've got some Blockus blocks to use in the world if we want them. So our mods have been now obviously available here. We've got no chests, no iron chests or anything. We've got REI, no GEI, so that's worked, which is good. So yeah, so it's going to completely ignore forge mods, as uh, it's not intended for that. It's pretty much intended to be a fabric environment by using the forge stuff in the launcher. So pretty much exactly the same as how it was in the Twitch launcher, carried over to this launcher. Um, when you know setting up mod packs using jump loader and everything else like that uh, There is no publishing currently which uh, when it was for twitch you could obviously publish stuff uh, if you've seen That as a thing you'll know that obviously there is a few fabric mod packs on here Technically if you were able to publish it you would be able to do the exact same as many of these creators as well as myself um, But since there's no publishing just yet, I uh, can't really say much more so yeah you can create a environment if you want to or a profile on here but uh, there's no publishing just yet but once there is it should be perfectly fine as long as you've got all the necessary mods you'll be good to go and jump loader then it'll be fine um, as the publishing process is basically the same it's not like a are you using fabric or this and the other it just kind of treats it exactly the same as if it's a forge mod pack you have jump loader installed and it just pretty much focuses on you know, making it still a normal environment, so, yeah. But, um, that's basically it. Um, you just set up stuff like so, and you get to go just hitting play every time using a fabric mod environment in the Curse Forge launcher, the same as you would a Twitch launcher. Um, if there's anything else, let me know in the comments, but, uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll cover a snapshot sort of focus or a vanilla to Twitch one in another video. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching.